These dogs hunt at least 200 days out of the year. place for them to rest they're not always in the kennels they get out a lot as you can see they're fit dogs they get a lot of exercise and run Gatlin here, he got uh, in a bad accident last July. So he lost his leg, got on a mean bear, and it busted it right here by the joint. And they just couldn't, uh, they couldn't put a plate there or anything. They couldn't reconnect it, so they had to cut it off. Um, and I kind of thought, well, I'll just keep him at home for a, um, a porch dog. You know, he was a really good dog. So I was like, I'll just keep him around, maybe get some pups out of him. But, he wouldn't shut up in the kennel, so I started taking him last winter. And um, Shooty was on Dirk's lion and several other lions, and he caught a, a couple bobcats by himself. And I'm like, shoot, I guess it's not going to slow him down. I mean, he'll he slows down some on a hard bear race, and um, he can't quite keep up. But uh, you know, for the most part, he does pretty good. And he still strikes good and starts the bear good and stuff. So we'll keep taking him. I'm sure when he gets some age on him, he's only about now he's about five right now. Another three, four years, he'll probably really slow down, but we'll, uh, he loves to hunt, so I hate to leave him at home. <laughs> here on our first day Idaho bear behind the dogs it's I just love watching the dogs work I've got to, to go on a couple cat hunts and uh, it's just cool watching them work so I'm just just here to see them do their thing track out there she's just kind of trailing it now it sounded like it was red hot but I don't think it was yeah right now they're just kind of cold trailing the track it was probably made last night or something and, you know so we'll see how far the bear traveled last night before they catch up to it and then and then we'll see how if it's mean or if it's just gonna run or sometimes they just tree easy we'll see But yeah, I can tell by the bark and that it's not a it's not as fresh as I thought when they struck it. We can go back the red lines then. This, this yeah. The, yep, this is them, the red and blue and green line, that's them. And then this is a trail that goes down through there, but it dead ends. That's where Colby fell in the creek, remember? <laughs> yeah. Let's go on up here. And there's a road to the right, right. that yep, that's gonna loop above them and we might be able to hear them and if they keep going that direction across the creek we'll be on top of them yeah well, let's try that because we can all drive there Yeah, it's in for. Uh, you want to speak? 
get her? What's that? Kind of surprised she quit. Yeah. She. I mean, she's a. She got bit right here, though. Oh. But usually she's not a dog that quits. But. Dang it! It's mean, though. That sucks. What road would that be then? It's looking, not a road. I think it's a trail. Oh, it looks like a. Yeah. He's, Come on, Gatlin! I don't want him to be on a mean bear. You know what I mean? Come on! Come on, Gat! So I think I'm gonna let you guys get him, okay. and I'm gonna go to that meadow, okay. and uh, I'll call you guys yeah, call on the radio. Once back over here. See, now it went down, it's turning left. I'm gonna cross that road we drove up. Yeah, they're right in front of me. I'm just kind of hanging tight. They're like 500 yards right out in front of me on the road that I'm on. guys stay here and let I don't think you can make it much further but okay run me out this road here real quick I seen it once but it was 80 yards away from me and I couldn't I didn't have a clear shot okay. they're already they're already climbing the hill I don't think we'll ever catch them oh. They we're never going to catch them. They're 400 up through that brush. Up through the... So I think... Go get back on the top road? Yeah, and I think I'm going to have to have you take me to my... So we can back split. on that upper road? The upper road. That's steep. Where's your bike at? I'm... Um, it's clear at the end of that road. Oh, yeah? I'll just well, ride right here. Do you want me to ride on the back and I hold can. on? I'll ride on the back. You guys get in and get... Come and get you right sure? In. Yeah, I don't care. Okay, I'm just going to fly around here and... <laughs> fly away. <laughs> I'm all right on the back, but I'm going to fly yeah. around Jump back yeah. there, Ty. <laughs> this seems like a really good idea. <laughs> So the first time I ran a bear hunting client, um, I had a pretty good pack of dogs like this. And I, same thing. It was a, a husband and a wife. And I got on a walking bear like this. And we baited it and baited it like this. And I kept trying, I could have killed it like three times. And I had a tag in my pocket, would have been legal. But we, uh, I kept getting in on it with her and trying to get her a shot, you know, cause I'm the guide, you know. And she kept, she couldn't hardly shoot a gun. She couldn't even find the sights when it come across. And I'm thinking, I'm going to get a dog killed. Well, we baited it for five or six hours and it ended up killing my best dog. And I said right then, I'm, if I have a tag in my pocket, I don't care if I have a client or not, I'm killing the bear. Because, yeah. you know, you just don't replace bear dogs like this. Bear. They're not, it's not that easy, yeah, you yeah. know. It takes a lot of, I got a lot of hours into it. 
buy a new one. Right, yeah, exactly. So yeah. I like to do the, the shooting if I have a tag. If I don't have a tag, then I'm just trying to catch the dog. That bear will literally just walk. So this bear's gonna Then have... they'll learn, and then they'll get bit, and you'll see. Well, I know one of them's got a scar because I seen it when I was down there. Or, you know, it, it ripped the hide yeah. right here on her back leg. And then they'll start being a little careful, and then like, they'll respect it a little bit yeah. and kind of just bark at it. I just want them to bark at it. Yeah. Was it I don't Mallory? like that build. Yeah. <laughs> the dogs have been out on this bear since 6 o'clock. Yeah, at least earlier. He's got one of the dogs, Avery, yeah. and we've been chasing them all day, and they're working him up this ridge. He's bait. He won't go up a tree. Um, so we're just going to sit here and see if the dogs push him to us and see if Bradley can get a shot. Yeah, fingers are crossed, man. This is rough country to be doing this in. And I'm fat and old. <laughs> just kidding, I'm only, what, 39, 40? That ain't old, is it? No. Dirk? No. <laughs> hey, hold on now. <laughs> I don't want to get out in front of him because the wind. Coming back towards us a little bit now. Yeah, let's just kind of stay like we are and just hope for the best. Kinda of going left. Maybe you yeah. and Dave stay in the road, we can go get the bikes. Yeah, and then just kinda of, me and Dave you know, hang back a couple hundred yards from us. Man, they're doing such a good job, I'd love to kill it to them. Can you copy Jason or Dirk? Yeah, go ahead. I think I'd go ahead and come on up till you run into us. They've turned and gonna go away from us, so I'll probably get on my bike and try to head them off that way. Well, Bradley's down in hot pursuit of a bear that's kind of, they're kind of, I don't know what they call it. He's a pain in the ass. It was baying it up <laughs> down on the ground there. And uh, anyway, the thing just kind of keeps walking and the dogs keep chasing it and following it and barking at it and he won't stop or tree or anything so Bradley's gonna go down there and try to end it or uh, grab he may shoot the bear he may just grab the dogs depending on the situation but uh, we may hear the report of a rifle we may not hear anything for a while <laughs> we're just trying to kind of parallel the dogs in the bear right now um, you can hear them in the background maybe they're just they're down here at the bottom um, they're gonna stay in that timber along the creek and they'll probably just scoot up this draw and we're gonna bust it <laughs> we have to figure something out here eventually them dogs are getting tired or we'll just go back to our camp and wait for you oh, yeah. Agony of defeat, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got gouged open there and yep. bit through here. Tika has one right here. Yeah. Dogs. The one thing about it, when I grabbed them, they were soaking wet. I think the bear and the dogs were laying in the creek when I got down there. <laughs> Break yeah. <laughs> Time out for all yeah. teams. How come that bear was so slippery? You think it was like an old bear, or, or do you think it was like a smart bear or a big bear? I feel like he's been dogged around by other hunters or something because he was real good at smelling me, you know. And usually the first time you walk in on a on a mean bear that hasn't been messed with too much, this is. And sometimes to answer your question, sometimes they're just mean. There's really no rhyme or reason. Small ones even can be mean old big boars can be mean and sometimes they're not mean but a lot of times you have one good chance to get in on the bear the first time to kill it if yeah. you you know if you got a tag and it's kill season to get in there and if you don't get it done that bear it knows then and then it smell and then it starts winding you like that one was today you'd get close to it and it wins you and then it gets tougher and tougher as the day goes on um, you get a good look at it was it very good size i didn't or? get a real good look at it i mean i seen it twice i seen mm -hmm. it you know right off the bat there and i'm looking 80 yards through the trees and i just see bear and a line of dogs behind it you know <laughs> and um so it was it was a shooter you know i mean it was probably 100 and 
80, 90 pounds or something if I had to guess, you know. Darn it, Mal. Not too many get away though, do they? <laughs> Not too many get away. a little puppy here, you know? Yeah, it does. A little sore, huh? Sorry. Pretty minor, really. In a cylinder and give them a shot. Yeah. This is pretty minor stuff. They'll, As long as they can lick them, usually they're pretty good. Oh yeah, I gotta jump this thing again because somebody left the radio on. Tyrell did it. Uh -huh. Hey, you see this lever? <laughs> that turns it on and off. Don't turn it off. <laughs> I'm thinking today's gonna be a good day. Uh, hopefully Jason can shoot. Uh, he's been bragging a lot about how good he is with a bow. He's uh, pretty good with a bow staff. And then, then he said he's pretty good with a bow and arrow too. So I, <laughs> I guess we'll see about that. We get a bear in a tree and we're gonna, we're gonna test it out. What do you got to say about that, folks? I'm doing all the work around here. It's just your bow. It don't matter if it falls off. Just, just to get started. It's going to be a good day. I think it's been kind of a slow week for us. We're usually catching bear every day, but I guess the dogs are just doing what they do and I think that today looks like a really good day to just kill one so that's what we're gonna do. Dogs finally uh, treat the bear. He's uh, just slightly on the opposite unit that we can hunt though. So we're just gonna go down and see what he is and get the dog and see if we can find another one.
suck if it ran up and over. Yeah, no, I know. Because we can always catch and you yeah. if it don't work. We can always. Yeah. Well, if it runs up and over dirt, it'll be still for trying to dirt. But, oh, okay. But yeah, I know. 10 4. That's part of the fun of radio talk, is yeah. just saying 10 4. Ten, four. <laughs> really get with it. I mean, it is a. It, so whoever invented the 10 4, though, was pretty smart. Because a lot of times you can't hear sometimes what's going on, but if you just get the 10 4, you're like, all right, they made enough out that yeah. the, you can always make the 10 4. Or the out. 10 or the 4. Yeah, yeah. There's not like a 10 5 that yeah. means like you didn't understand, yeah. or, or 10 1. It's like, can ten, you repeat ten, that? 10 5. 10 5. <laughs> ten, five. What the hell? What's he talking about? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Did he get it or not? He said 10 5 instead of 10 4. I need to, I need to look okay. through my trucker manual and look up what that, that means. Today. The trucker playbook. <laughs> oh, there's one. That we're just gypsy. right in front of me, Trav, going across the road. Do you guys see Gypsy up there? Yeah. yeah, she just crossed the road right in front of me, but she's not barking, but she's definitely trailing. Okay, I'll head that way probably. Uh, I guess your dogs are okay here. Uh, and, and yeah, Mallory, I think, pretty much with Trixie or something in the road up there close to it. I just heard Bond, you must have just hit the track. So they should fall over, I'd say. They're moving. Yeah, I'm going to head up there then. Okay, I'm walking. We're going to pick the better spot to park. That old dog must be freaking good to be ahead of all the young dogs. Just Yeah, good nose. Yeah. Knows the drill. I'm not going up there. It's Dirk's. It's Dirk's bear. Yeah, I, I don't there. need to be at the tree if it's Dirk's bear. This is like leading your team to a state championship right at the end, and then put in a backup quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> they, they call it Phelps in baseball. They, they call, call that, that the closer. <laughs> we're all good. We're we're giving him crap. I've technically kind of been the hunter all week, and uh, this road that we are sitting on right now is a difference in a unit, and I have to hunt on this side of the road where the bear started and where the dogs are at now is Dirk's side of the road. So uh, we may have we may be driving back down to the truck to get Dirk's bow here shortly. You know, that $500 tip I gave Bradley, to not that, <laughs> that, that, might, that might have something to that do with it. That might have something to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just kidding. No money transferred hands on this hunt. Circle back and come down maybe. What's that? I wish we could see Blondie. I think they might circle back and come down. They're making a big loop up here. Okay, don't get anywhere near them if they're going to come back this way. Yeah, we're just staying right where oh, we're at. No, they moved. Oh, they're kind of just moving up the mountain right now. Now are you with them? Oh, yeah. yeah. Are they barking? Yeah. Okay. Let me see that GPS, Tyra. I need to take that GPS. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Thank you. This ain't gonna happen today. We don't. He just got fired. And here we are without a GPS again. I come up here, I start this bear for him, and here we are again. It was such a fun day until now. It was a good run. <laughs> now we have no idea what the dogs are doing. Your phone got games on it, Ty. Tetris. <laughs> we got Tetris and golf. Oh, uh, we're good. we're just like some mushrooms on this hunt. Kept in the dark and fed. <laughs> uh, I mean, your GPS too? No. Oh, it's Bradley. Well, you maybe you should buy your own. Well, actually, I'm buying that one from him. He's okay. gonna buy the new one, one with the inReach in it. Right. So I, because I was gonna go buy, but I'm gonna buy. I was gonna buy one that has collars because mm -hmm. collars are spent expensive. But yeah. if you buy the set, it comes with two collars, so you oh. get a lot better deal. You put those on your boys. Yeah. Yeah. Keep track of them. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Dirk and I are here in Idaho hunting with Brad and Idaho Whitetail Guides. Uh, Dirk got to hunt with these guys a little bit this winter. Um, cat hunting. Was able to take a bobcat and a, a cougar. And uh, he must have did something that I haven't seen because he was invited back. So he must have he must have <laughs> made a good enough impression that they... Hey, Idaho guys stick together. Yeah, there you That's go. all I got to say. Uh, that's all you... So, uh, no, here we are. Um, Mid-June and got invited back on a bear hunt and it's been a, you know... Been a good hunt. Been on bears every day. Or, uh, the one day we didn't, we were able to treat a bobcat. So, um, 
Yeah, that's pretty. That says a lot about the dogs being on the tree of bobcat in the middle of summertime. Yeah, no dry. Snow on the yeah, ground. super dry. Yeah. So, yeah, good. Good dogs has been fun. Uh, Tyrell's been our uh, taxi driver. Um, so it's just it's been a good time. These are good people, um, and hopefully this uh, bear trees for for dirt. Yeah, because it just ran to the side of the unit that's fair game for me. Yeah, and not for me. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, Phelps. I'm sorry. That's all right. It's all right. Dirk is a resident and a buddy of Bradley. He can hunt more of the state. Um, I'm tied to a smaller area, but yeah. Which, which that's the way it should be with you guys from Washington. <laughs> they should have like a little small section, designated area just for Washington people. Oh. What are those dogs saying, Phelps? Bear, 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 bear. Is that what they're saying? Yeah. <laughs> they're letting the other dogs know they're on the bear. Okay. I think I'll go clear around, it looks like, huh? It looks like they're gonna top over. I lost communication on them, so. Did they top over, or do you know? They had topped over, but uh, just a second, I'm getting past the bus hog. Yeah, we ain't got time to go. Yeah, I went to the you want to go okay, first? Okay, let's go. Get him, baby. get my first bear with a bow here in just a few minutes as soon as Ty quits screwing around and gets up here. He does, he screws around a lot. <laughs> Every time we, every time we kill a bear, we give them a little uh, treat and you know, a little bear liver. So that's how we do it, and just kind of a little reward because we don't kill a lot of bears to them. So it's nice to give them something when we do. So. Oh, 